I'm sure everybody does, it's a little scary, especially on this type of a trampoline because we do have a, um, the, the string bed trampolines tend to be a lot more bouncy. So this type of a trampoline, and the kids can get hurt pretty easily on them too, by like falling and scraping and things like that versus a black bed trampoline, which isn't as bouncy, it's a lot more easy, it's a lot easier to stay in control. Um, so in our gym, because we have this trampoline, the safety thing I think is probably the most important thing for especially lower level and rep coaches on trampoline. Um, and one of the biggest things that comes to me on this type of a trampoline, especially our setup, is the kids flying off of the trampoline. Um, and so when you're actually teaching the lower level kids on trampoline, I always come from a perspective on trampoline where you're teaching them how to do it safely and teaching them how when you start to actually do bigger tricks, they already know how to stop. They know how to keep themselves in the middle and they know how to do things like that. So some of, a lot of my lesson planning on trampoline is based around that idea of like, I look around in this trampoline setup, I'm like, oh man, I don't want kids flying off this way. I don't want kids to go crashing into the other kids. So it's clearly teaching them how to bounce and stay in the middle and um, stay safe on trampoline. Um, some safety rules that I follow is kids are never, like anytime I put, even no matter how old they are, um, kids in my group, they're never allowed to jump off the trampoline. So like they're never allowed to bounce and be like, okay, it turns over and just even do that. I'd never let them do that. They always have to learn to stop and walk off the trampoline. And I make them, if they jump off, I make them actually get back on the trampoline, bounce, stop, and walk off. Because I want them to get used to that kind of mode of transportation and getting off. Because once, if they're used to bouncing and throwing themselves off the trampoline, we're not teaching them to stay in the trampoline. We're, we're actually reinforcing that. So we to bounce off the trampoline, but it's not. Um, so that's one thing. I always have to walk off the trampoline. I never allow, unless it's like a, a pretty easy game. I barely, in, in the lower levels, I never allow two people on the trampoline. I just don't do it, just because when we were like, well, you know, it can be safe with like little kids. But I've seen even little kids when they're bouncing together and get like kid get double bounce and their foot rolls under and it breaks instantly, broken in. And that happens a lot. That's my biggest concern usually is the double bouncing is when they're bouncing together they're not lined up um, and they can break ankles. This happened in boys' gyms that I've coached at. Or we actually had a kid in this gym where they're bouncing and they bounce together and all of a sudden the kid gets double bounce and spiked flying off the trampoline, hit the tumble track, and fell on the wall and I broke her arm. So, I just don't allow two people on the trampoline. <laughs> um, usually ever, even at the options, you'll usually see my kids, and they're hardly ever up there. Compulsories are up here usually before practice doing like seat trap work. Options are they ever on the trampoline. It's so reinforced in their head to the that they don't balance with each other on the trampoline, just because it's pretty dangerous. So, so number two rule would be that, one at a time on the trampoline. Um, and then the next thing is, is I'm trying to think what would be my next thing. That um, and then just trying to do their best to stay in the middle, stay in the box. I usually don't want a lot of kids to even learn, even when they're learning beginning tricks. Like say if they're learning a back tuck or back hook, a lot of kids want to scoot out here. I don't ever allow them to. They have to stay in the box when they're learning skills because what happens is they're they're like, oh, I need a lot of room to do this back handspring. But if you're bouncing right here, no matter what, it's the wrong way to do that. And so when you're in the middle, you're not really moving. You're going up and down. So it's really good to just get them used to staying in the middle, staying on the X. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much the big safety thing. Is there anything else that you guys can think of, like, safety-wise on trampoline that you worry about? We 